wanted to give him a really special surprise. I know you did, Honey Bundle. And it was a really special surprise. I think you just took him by, well, surprise. <laughs> he did have a funny look on his face. What sort of a look? Oh, a surprise sort of a look. Right. Well, hopefully he'll come down for breakfast soon. What are you looking for? A present for Henry. But that's... Yes, it's a cleaning item. I think it's about time Henry started to do the washing up. Don't you? Well, uh, yes, but... Back in a rolly mo. Huh? Henry? Doing the washing up? Now, I know you're going to be asking yourself why I'm not pleased about having another birthday. And the thing is, I am pleased, really. Because I know Mum and Dad have got me a present. It's hidden in their wardrobe. And I'm guessing that the worm's got me something. Something I probably don't want. But anyway. <laughs> and Great Aunt Greta will give me something girly. And I do like the fuss, really. Even if it's only the worm throwing bits of paper at me. I know that's all part of the birthday fun. <sighs> but I also know that I'm getting older. One year older, to be precise. And that means one year closer to having to go to work. Getting married. <laughs> Why does that always happen? I'm generally realising that life doesn't always get better as you get bigger. <laughs> Are we ready for some more birthday fun? Oh, look at that, Henry. You were such a cutie wooty little baby waby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So I was cute once. More than once, Henry. So young, Henry. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Worm. I'm feeling pretty old, actually. Old enough to do the washing up? Washing up? Are you joking? Thought not. Pancakes! We always used to have pancakes on our birthday. You did, Henry. I preferred brioche au chocolat with saucisson à la mode. Yeah, you did. But it's my birthday today. So tell me Mum's making me pancakes. How should I know? You haven't put in a special request for that fancy French stuff, have you? You'll have to come downstairs to find out. Oh, it's not fair. All I want is pancakes on my birthday. And I can't even get that. My life is so bad. It's so um, bad. It's so easy. Mum says happy hippos live in Happy Hippo Valley. Really? How fascinating. And Mum says happy hippos are happy all of the time. Really? And how does she know that? Mum knows everything. I bet she doesn't know that the happy hippos are really weird werewolves in disguise. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Think about it, Peter. Have you ever seen happy hippos at night? Well, no, but that's because I'm not allowed to watch television at night. No, Peter. It's because at night they turn into weird werewolves. No, they don't. Yes, they do. We are snappy, snappy werewolves. Time for phase two of Operation Weird Werewolf! Henry! Peter! Bedtime! On my way, Mum! Excuse me, Henry. I need to brush my teeth. Henry? You're reading a book! Mm, it's a really interesting book. 
what's it about? Promise you won't tell. I promise. It's called The Werewolf Spotter's Guide to Spotting Weird Werewolves. Really? I borrowed it from Dad's bookshelf. It's a very scary book. Really? Yep. Tells you all about how to spot a weird werewolf. Ooh. Uh-oh. How long has your hair been like that? Like what, Henry? Like curly. It says here that curly hair is the first sign of turning into a weird werewolf. Does it? Have you uh, noticed any other signs? Um, what kind of signs? Let's see. Second sign of turning into a werewolf, itchy hands. Third sign is sharp teeth. Have you brushed your teeth yet, boys? Time to brush your teeth, Peter. Yeah. If you dare. Oh. All set for bed, honey bunny. Mum, do I look any different to you? Different? No. You're still my perfect little honey bunny. So I don't seem any hairier? <laughs> Actually, your hair has got very curly. Maybe we should cut it soon. Night, night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bugs bite. Bite? Oh, I'm turning into a werewolf. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. I'm going to hunt you down, Henry. The lesser spotted roach also has the ability to appear normal and nice without being at all normal and nice. Just like you, bogey brain. What is it, Brian? Uh, please, it's, I think you've drawn one too many legs. Margaret, what are you doing? Looking for something. And what, may I inquire, are you looking for? What is it, Ralph? Maybe she's looking for the lesser spotted roach, miss. <laughs> 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 That's enough, all of you. Margaret, please look for whatever you're looking for at the end of the lesson. Oh, now then, where was I? Uh, please, miss, I think you've drawn one too many legs. Get out, Henry. I'm going to hunt you down, Henry. <laughs> Where is it, Henry? Where's what? You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. I am talking about my mobile phone. <laughs> I thought you said it was a mobile mirror, Margaret. It was. I mean, it is. I mean, oh, never mind, sir. Henry took it. Is this true, Henry? Did you take Margaret's mobile phone? <laughs> I mean, her uh, mobile mirror. Oh, I've never even seen a mobile mirror. Yes, you have, Henry. You've been jealous of my mobile mirror forever, and now you've stolen it. <gasps> yes, that's right. You pushed past me in the corridor, and you took it right from under my very nose. And now, and now, and now you're pretending that you didn't take it, and you're trying to make me seem like It's really you who's not normal and nice. Face it, Henry. There's nowhere you can run to. Nowhere to hide. Come on, Henry. Let's go. If all else fails, run. I was born to run. Morning, Henry. Morning, Dad. You're late, Henry. I know, Dad. Come on, Henry. I'll give you a lift into school. Oh, thanks, Dad. Just gotta find my tie. That means I've got time for another bowl of cereal. <laughs> huh? Is this boy a criminal? What? This boy might look normal and nice on the outside, 
but inside he's far from normal and far from nice. So lock up your mobile phones because Henry's here and he's horrible. They can't even get my name right. Who wrote this stuff? Written by Bill, son of Bob, who, by the way, owns this paper. And who also just happens to be my dad's boss. That's so not fair. It's so easy being me. I'm no gross class breakout. Why does this always happen to me, Fang? <laughs> It's not the sock's fault. Or is it? Nope. Nothing. Come on, Fang. We're done here. Hold on. Henry. What? Aren't you happy that I've sorted all the socks? Well, I can stop sorting if I'm not doing it properly. <sighs> all right then, Henry. Thank you very much. Can I... Yes, all right. I'll call you when tea's ready. Look, no hands! Henry! Henry, what's this? It's a sock. That's right, Henry. A sock. And where do you think I found it? Bottom of the laundry basket, underneath all the other socks. That's right, Henry. Yes. So, so where's the other one? The other what? The other sock, Henry. Oh, for goodness' sake! I was watching that. Not anymore, you're not. No more TV for you until you find the other sock. Now it's time for Number Notes Detectives. <laughs> what was that? The doorbell. Who is it? How should I know? Oh, not much of a detective, are you? Oh, so sorry to disturb you. Chrissy Polly, vomiting Vera and the Number Gnomes. Could things get any worse? Apparently, they Turns out Chrissy Polly had an emergency situation. It's an emergency situation. Really, it is. Oh, the beauty salad said they could fit me in if I went right away. <laughs> My mum said I could do with a little helper. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Mum says she can't find her mobile phone. Oh, again.
all that for? We need to speak with you, Lord High Majesty. We need to talk passwords. Do we have to do this now, Worm? Well, the sooner we have everything written down, the sooner we can be certain that... Yeah, yeah, all right, I know. The sooner we can be certain that the purple hang gang's safe from any bogey brains that might want to have a go at it. Well, that's not exactly how I was going to put it, but yes. All right then, Worm. What do you want me to do? Why don't you take a seat over here and then you can fill in the form I've made? 